In other stories, a new UN investigation reveals that Syrian and Russian planes carrying out deadly aerial strikes amounted to war crimes on schools, hospitals and markets in Idlib province. Our next report brings you all the details. Three-year campaign of bombardment and terror displaced more than one million people from different parts of Idlib. A UN investigation into atrocities committed in Syria has for the first time accused Russia of direct involvement in war crimes for indiscriminate bombing of civilian areas. We have actually uh, investigated 52 uh, accounts of violations uh, uh, 17 attacks on hospitals, 14 attacks on schools, 9 on marketplaces and, and 12 others on residential buildings and other, and other places. And within that we, we found that war crimes were, were committed, were likely to have been committed by both uh, the Syrian Air Force and by the Russian Air Force. We, document two incidents in the report uh, where we think it, it was Russian airplanes that, uh, that uh, conducted those attacks. Even though the UN-backed Human Rights Council claimed there was evidence that war crimes were committed by nearly all sides. Russia denied responsibility for the mass killing of civilians in Syria insisting that its air campaign in support of the Damascus regime was solely targeted against terrorist groups. Despite UN warnings that the lives of Syrian civilians depend on cross-border access, Russia and China vetoed to block the UN Security Council from extending its approval of aid deliveries to Syria from Ter for a year. With nearly 2.8 million people relying on humanitarian aid, for many, Russia and China's veto power is turning out to be despicable and dangerous. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.